Shen's last gift is the final DLC for XCOM 2 that was released early this month. This review will focus on the new mission and new class mechanic introduced, so be warned that there will be spoilers ahead. As if XCOM 2 wasn't already good enough, the latest DLC titled Shen's Last Gift introduces a new multi-tiered mission involving Lily Shen plus a new class to the game. The mission itself appears fairly early in the game offering you the choice to investigate a strange signal in an abandoned building believed to be from the late Dr. Shen from Enemy Unknown. Lily Shen joins your squad for the mission and just like Central Bradford in the Alien Hunters DLC mission, she's a badass playable character with awesome specialist class skills. We particularly liked her capacitor discharge skill during this mission as it does incredible AoE damage to mechs, which are the primary enemy units. The multi-tiers in the mission offers some challenge with its enemy wave mechanic after reaching an objective and the antagonist character named Julian appears in the last tier, making for an epic final battle. Moving on to the new class, players are granted the mech spark unit upon completing the mission. Later on, players can construct more spark units in the proving ground. The Spark, revealed to be Dr. Shen's last project, is a mechanized class that now offers players with a new strategic choice when deciding on a squad. The Spark is immune to fire and poison effects and has a gremlin-type companion called the BIT, which serves as a hacking companion and reusable grenade for the bombardment skill. Besides that, your soldiers can take cover behind or adjacent to the Spark and they receive defensive and cover bonuses. In terms of weaponry, the Spark comes with a heavy autocannon that shreds armor but cannot be swapped out for any other weapon. Other skills can be unlocked through its veteran tree, and there are a few good offensive and defensive ones such as a melee attack. A great feature of the Spark is a skill called Overdrive that allows the Spark to take 3 actions in a turn with a 5 turn cooldown. Very handy for getting in range to shred armor off late game enemies. Both the BIT and Heavy Autocannon can be upgraded to better versions as you progress in the campaign. Lastly, a damaged Spark can be repaired in engineering but takes significantly longer time to heal compared to human soldiers. Also note that only one spark can be repaired at a time. Now that we've given you an overview of the DLC's offerings, let's go through the pros and cons of the DLC and conclude with our final verdict. The Pro New Antagonist Even though Julian is a computer AI antagonist, he shows a ton of character through his hostile dialogue which plays throughout the duration of the mission, trading words with Lily Shan and Central. It's refreshing to know that this bad guy has a voice and is narrating his agenda to you something the base game and previous title never did. Spark for choice In a new campaign I started for this review, I did enjoy having the Spark in my squad as it gave me an alternative way to approach most XCOM missions, especially when the ruler aliens from the previous DLC shows up. While I won't label Sparks as game changers, they are a well-balanced class and they do enhance the experience in a new campaign with handy skills, especially when paired with rookies. The Cons Spark Customization while you can customize the armor color and pattern for your spark, everything else is just meh. Some of the armor choices look dull and uninspiring, while it's disappointing that the weapon cannot be changed. I'd love to use a mech shotgun on my spark every once in a while. Short mission. The mission was enjoyable but ultimately a very short experience that can be completed in 30 to 45 minutes. It would have been more exciting to build the tension in a scavenger hunt type series of missions against the advent as both sides rush to uncover Dr. Shen's spark project to claim it as their own. Our verdict. Overall, Shen's Last Gift is a great DLC that packs a pretty fun mission and new class which improves the main campaign of the game. Priced at 24 Malaysian Ringgit, we feel it's fairly priced for the content offered, unlike other games charging you 8 Ringgit just for our blood and gore. Yep, that was a dig at Total War Warhammer. Well, that's it from us, so give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our content and do subscribe to us for more reviews. I'm Adrian from Game Reviews Malaysia and we want to thank you for watching.